Today, we are crossing over to the land of math as we celebrate Pi Day. So, let's get going. where I am Mrs. Fred and I'm super happy you are here and we are going to start with our art motto and it goes a little something like this today in art I will try my best I will be creative and I will problem solve now we're talking about how art and math come together so let's figure out some things that art and math do that are the same hmm they both have shapes yes uh, they both use measurements, yes, and they both love pie. So today we are celebrating Pie Day by taking a look at how to draw a piece of pie inspired by artist Wayne Thiebaud. Now Wayne Thiebaud was a pop artist and he drew fancy desserts in big bold colors with lots and lots of texture. It's going to be a fun lesson today, so let's get going on our drawing tutorial and make some pie. <laughs> Here we go. Today in art, I can learn a little bit about pie. I can learn a little bit about the artist Wayne Thiebaud. I can create a pie drawing and I can use shapes, shading, value, and color in my drawing. I can also use line placement to show form. This is a circle. The measurement around a circle is circumference. The measurement that cuts through the middle of a circle is diameter. Divide circumference by diameter and you get pi. This is the symbol for pi. Circumference divided by diameter is pi or 3.145926 and so on. The answer is pi every single time. It's like magic. Pi is magic. Mmm, this pi is magic too. Pi. Pi. Let's draw pi for pi day. First, we're going to start by making an oval shape on our page. Draw light because we are going to go over this with a darker marker later. So once I'm happy with my oval, I draw a couple little lines down to sort of trace around that shape. And that's going to kind of make it look like it is three dimensional. I'm going to fiddle around this line and erase a few times until I like it just how I've got it. Okay, start at the middle of your pie and draw some lines outward to make a triangle. Once you have that triangle, you are going to kind of create a little bit of a parallel line and another parallel line to that other so it looks like a slice is being cut out. Then what I'll do is a perpendicular line or two underneath that diagonal line so that I can connect them all and make them look three-dimensional, like an actual slice is being taken out of the pie. Now, this is the part where I noodle around with some lines, drawing them and erasing them a thousand times until I get it just right visually. Then what I'll do is go through and darken some lines and add a few irregular lines to make it look more realistic because a pie crust really is never just straight lines or diagonal lines and they're never perfectly curved. So I'm gonna play around with some texture lines and I'm adding on the top this sort of lattice effect. And with a few extra wavy lines, it's gonna begin to look more like a wavy checkerboard. Right. 
So now I'm really going to begin to commit to some of these lines and really um, put some more pressure with my pencil so that they are darker and um, more committal so you can see them better. And once I get some of these lines in, then like I say, I'm going to make them a little more irregular so they look a little more realistic. Okay, there's one little line that's coming up that's going to make it look really realistic and that's that little guy right there. What that's gonna do is make it look like the interior of the pie is three-dimensional and the exterior piece that is being pulled out is three-dimensional. So make sure you add those lines that show where the bottom of the pie is as you um, build your foundation here. Next thing I'm gonna do is just really, really commit to these lines by outlining with a fine tip black marker. Now, while I'm going along, I'm gonna go ahead and start some shading on the interior pieces of the pie to make it look a little darker because the light would hit not very much of that part of the pie. It would be more around the top. So the topper part of my pie is going to have more light on it and I'm going to use lighter value and lighter colors. Once I've added my shading, I'm gonna go through and erase any lines I do not want anymore. And then on to the fun part, more shading and a little bit of color. Okay, now to draw just a single slice of pie, you are gonna draw an acute triangle. And then what you're gonna do is draw some perpendicular lines down and then connect them at the bottom. Now these pie slices are really influenced by the artist Wayne Thiebaud. He is a pop artist, he was a painter, and he loved to paint sweet treats like pies, cakes, and candies. Now once we have our pie base, we are gonna go ahead and make a lower line at the bottom and kind of build our pie crust. So those lines are gonna be parallel and they're gonna kind of outline where the pie crust will be. I'm drawing an oval kind of overlapping because that's where my plate will be and now I'm drawing the outline of where the pie crust in the back of the pie will be. Just a few curved lines, um, starting out with a little bit of hatching. Then I'm going to kind of dig in a little further, get my lines a little darker, and kind of make them just how I want them as I begin to outline the shapes of the fruit in the pie. Now this one's going to be a cherry pie, and I'm just going to start by outlining some shapes and getting that running. Then I like to go over the top with um, kind of a more irregular line and a little bit of shading um, just to kind of get my bearings and show that the pie is a little more realistic looking because they're not exactly straight lines. So like I say, I'm gonna darken in some of these lines to get them running and then I'm gonna take a minute to outline them in like a black marker. That's my style, that's what I like to do. Um, you can choose to do it any way you like. I'm also adding a little bit of texture as I go. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the um, cherry filling. Now you can see I'm adding slow little elements of value starting, but I'm starting with the dark, darker value, and then I will leave little shine marks on those cherries as the light reflects off of there. Now I like to build that pie crust on top with lighter colors and then um, kind of fill in with darker colors as I go. I hope you had a good time creating pie today for International Pie Day. Have a wonderful day and keep on arting.